Hi everyone, Namaste. We are going to learn about silkworm. This topic is taken from unit invertebrates of compulsory science of class 10. In these presentations, you will see some display about silkworm and some important questions answered. Ah, look at these boys. This boys is thinking something. Ah, is thinking. Yes, I can do it. So you also can do. You can get good grades in exams if you prepared well. Okay. So be prepared. Uh, exam is coming in near future. Whether it is uncertain, but definitely there would be a C exam. So be prepared. You can do. Okay. Now in vertebrates, the unit is in vertebrate, and the topic that we are going to see is a uh, silk worm. Look at this is a silk moth. The diagram is of silk moth. Silk worm is useful insect. Commercial farming of silk worm is called sericulture. Seri silk moth, airy silk moth. Okay, seri silk moth and airy silk moth are two examples or uh, types of the silk moth a worm that is used in sericulture in Nepal and the scientific name of silk, silk uh, seri silk moth is Bombex mori and airy silk moth is Actacus rishini. Okay. And seri silk worm feed on mulberry leaves, whereas the airy silk worm feed on castor leaves. Look at this diagram. Do you guess what is this? This is a silk fiber and it is obtained from silk worm. And it is the most important material that we use in our daily life. And this is a silk fiber and it is used in clothing items. Various kinds of saris, shooting settings are made from silk fiber. And the silk fiber are durable, attractive and elastic. Okay. They can be made attractive by adding color. So it has a very important role in our daily life. Silk fiber is obtained from cocoon of silk worm and the silk fiber is used to make clothing items, fishing threads, etc. Okay. Now you go to the life cycle of silk worm. Okay. Uh, there are four stages of life cycle of silk worm, egg, larva, pupa and adult. Uh, look at here, this is the egg stage, you know, the egg is led by the female silk moth after fertilization and around 300 to 400 eggs are laid by the female silk moth. Uh, this is the egg. And after egg, uh, the another stage is larva stage. And at the larva stage, it eats a lot of mulberry leaves. Okay. And at the end of the larva stage, that is in fifth stage, the larva produces silk thread, silk fiber. After the larva stage, it comes pupa stage. Look at this is the pupa. And this pupa of silkworm is known as cocoon and this cocoon is formed you know at the end of the larva stage when the larva produce silk fiber and the larva itself enclosed within that silk fiber silk thread and forms cocoon okay and after pupa stage we have a adult silk moth and when the adult silk moth becomes mature then it lays eggs and another life cycle started. Uh, we have now some questions regarding these presentations. Okay, answer the following questions. You copy all these questions and answer also. 
I write the name of any two silk worm, seri silk moth and eri silk moth. Okay, the scientific name is Bombex mori and Atacus rishini. And what is sericulture? Commercial farming of sericulture is called uh, silk worm is called sericulture. Right, importance of silk worm. Silk fiber is obtained from the cocoon of silk worm and silk fiber is used to make clothing items, fishing threads, etc. And silk worm is useful in insect. Why? Silk worm provides silk fiber which is used in making various kinds of clothes. What is food of larva for silk worm? Seri silk worm feed on mulberry leaves. And write the name of the stages of silk worm. They are egg, larva, pupa, and adult. Okay. And these are the short questions. Uh, important also. Now we have a detailed study about the egg. At fertilization, adult female silk moth lays 300 to 400 eggs. Look at this diagram again. So many eggs are laid by the silk, female silk moth. A uh, white and a small pin head side. The eggs are white in color and small. And it is like the size of pin. Eggs are preserved in cold temperature below 18 degrees centigrade to prevent hatching. Why it is preserved in the cold temperature? Because the larva of the silk worm eats a lot of mulberry leaves. If the mulberry leaves are not available, at that situation, the eggs has to be preserved and it can be preserved by keeping it below uh, 10 degrees centigrade or keeping it in the cold temperature. Okay. The eggs are hatched into larva within 10 to 12 days. So when there is a scarcity of the bulbar leaves, it is kept in the uh, cold place and when the bulbar leaves are available then the temperature is provided required temperatures to has the egg is provided and the temperature is 18 degree to 25 degree at 18 degree centigrade to 25 degree centigrade the eggs has into the larva in 10 to 12 days we have now larva the larva is Mulberry leaves, a lot of mulberry leaves. Look at here. Some larvas are shown in this picture, and these are the mulberry leaves. The larva molts four times in the larva stage. After molting, it do not eat for 24 hours. This period is called instar period or instar, but it grows rapidly at that stage. There are five instar period in the larva stage. In fifth insert, the larva produce silk fiber. A special fluid is produced by the salivary gland of the larva and it becomes silk fiber when it exposed to air. Okay, when that uh, fluid material is exposed in air, then it becomes silk thread or silk fiber. So the larva stage lasts for 28 to 32 days. So the, the larva stage of the silk worm is the longest period of the life cycle of uh, silk moth or silk worm. Okay, we have now pupa. The larva encloses itself within the silk threads that produced in uh, fifth instar is called cocoon. Here we have some cocoons, picture of cocoons. And pupa is in active stage of silk worm. Pupa undergoes active physiological change inside the cocoon and this process is known as histogenesis. Okay, uh, though it is inactive but physiological change occurs, some tissues, you know, are developing uh, inside the pupa. Okay, and the pupa is killed to obtain long silk fiber. The pupa is killed by putting it into the hot water or by passing hot steams or by placing pupa uh, in hot steams okay it is killed and we can obtain a long thread of silk fiber you know if we do not kill it then the pupa develop to a adult 
silk bone. And during this process, the silk thread breaks down and we cannot obtain the long thread of silk fiber. Okay, so pupa should be killed to obtain, to extract the silk fiber. So pupa stage lasts for 12 to 14 days. Now the adult stage we discuss, uh, this is the diagram of adult silk both. After active metamorphosis process, the pupa developed to an adult silk worm or silk moth, which is called imago. Adult silk worm is 2.5 cm long or 25 mm long and creamy white in color. Adult stage lasts for 5 to 7 days. So the silk moth survived for 5 to 7 days after pupa stage. Okay, now we have some technical terms. Metamorphosis is the rapid transformation process that changes larva to imago is called metamorphosis and histogenesis, the physiological change that occurs in pupa stage is called histogenesis. Okay, uh, this is the end of the descriptions. Now we have some questions. Okay, we have uh, more than 10 questions in this presentation. So you copy all the questions and also copy the answer or you can answer yourself and these are the most important questions okay first questions how many eggs does silk comb lays female silk comb lays 300 to 400 eggs after fertilizations how does eggs of silk comb preserved eggs of silk comb can be preserved by keeping it in cold temperature below 18 degrees centigrade what the required temperature to hatch the eggs of silkworm? The eggs of silkworm hatched at the temperature of 18 degree to 25 degree centigrade. Uh, why does egg of silkworm preserve in cold temperature? Okay, the larva of silkworm eat mulberry leaves a lot. At the time of scarcity of mulberry leaves, the egg of silkworm preserved in cold temperature to avoid hatching into the larva. Another question is, how many times does the larva of silk comb undergo mounting? Clearly, it is four times. Okay. The larva of silk comb mounts four times in the larva stage of larva. What do you mean by start period in larva stage of silk comb? After mounting, the larva do not eat for 24 hours. This period is called start period or start. Uh, at which stage does the silk comb produce silk thread? In fifth instead of larva stage of silkworm produce silk thread. Why are cocoon placed in hot water or in hot air? Cocoons are placed in hot water or in hot air to kill the pupa and to destroy the glue of cocoons. Okay, so that we can obtain the long silk thread. By this process, long silk thread can be obtained. What is cocoon? The larva grows itself within the silk threads that produce in fifth instead is called cocoon. What the duration of pupa stage of silk worm? The pupa stage lasts for 12 to 14 days. Uh, write the duration of larva stage of silk worm. The larva stage lasts for 28 to 32 days. And write the duration of adult stage of silk worm. Adult stage lasts for 5 to 7 days. Write the duration of life cycle of silk worm. There is some black side of silk worm 45 to 50 days. Okay, how much long silk thread can be obtained from a single cocoon? Uh, 100, uh, 1000 meter long silk thread can be obtained from a cocoon. So all these questions are short or too much questions. And uh, you have to draw the diagram of life cycle of silk worm in the long questions. We can Okay, draw that and explain in short. Okay, keep calm and study for exams. Thank you for watching the video. Bye-bye.